All right, everybody. So as you may have heard, numerous banks and credit card providers are offering debt relief and other programs to help customers through this trying time. They'll be more willing to negotiate with you during a time like this, but you'll need to work with them and come to an agreement. Most banks are responding to individual situations on a case-by-case -case basis, although some have changed specific policies in response to the crisis. So, did a little bit of research to look into what 18 major banks are doing right now to help their customers through this trying time. So I'm just gonna go through them one by one. Of course, if you want more specific details, you should visit the specific crisis page for that particular bank. All right, alphabetical order starting with Ally Bank. Ally launched a broad response to the crisis in order to ease the financial burden for customers. The bank has waived overdraft fees, excessive transaction fees, and a variety of fees that are typically charged on investing accounts. There's also a payment deferral program that allows customers to suspend home or auto loan payments for up to 120 days without increasing your rate. That said, you may still incur fees and interest on the unpaid balance at the contract rate. American Express. American Express crisis support page claims to show how American Express can help but I didn't really find any or much concrete information on it for people worried about their payments. Furthermore, it states that wait times for support times may be longer than usual, so you should try to get in touch with them as soon as possible. Even though they don't have a state of policy, you may be able to work out a payment plan depending on your situation. Bank of America. So if you check out Bank of America's crisis page for information about credit card payments, uh, mortgage payments, and support for small businesses, you can request a deferral online if you're having trouble making payments, and you may be eligible for refunds on some late fees. Contact Bank of America directly through the app or website to learn more about available resources. Capital One. Capital One has a page dedicated to helping customers manage financial difficulties right now. Like many other banks, Capital One claims to offer support, but the website doesn't include any specific measures or policies aside from waiving fees for out-of-network ATMs. While phone support wait times are currently longer than usual, you can use the app or website to manage your account, pay bills, find ATMs, and more. Chase. Chase posted a crisis update on March 27th announcing that the bank is here for you without really saying what that means. Similar to many other banks that I looked at, Chase appears to be approaching crisis related situations on a case by case basis. The most important thing is to contact them as soon as possible if you're having trouble making payments or have any other concerns. City. City's crisis page provides important details about the bank's response to the current crisis. Monthly service, remote deposit, and early CD withdrawal fees have all been waived for 30 days, and that started on March 9th. You can also contact City for information about credit line increases, collection forbearance programs, and hardship programs for mortgage customers. As with many other banks, you should expect long wait times for phone support. I tried to call City the other day for something to do with my, uh, where is it, my City Double Cash. I was on hold for 20 minutes, but hey, it's understandable during a time like this. Shameless plug, get this card, 2% cash back on everything, and right now it has an introductory 0% APR for 18 months. That could really get through you through these tough times. Um, and if you're so inclined to use my link in the description, help support the channel, I would really appreciate it. All right, that's enough of that self-promoting nonsense. Let's go to Comenity Bank. So Comenity recently posted a page titled, We're Here to Help, to update customers who are concerned about their financial situation during the crisis. The website mentions payment programs for credit card customers, but you have to call them directly to learn more. There is no more specific information about what customers can expect from Comenity in the coming weeks and months, but be sure to check out the support page, just like for all these other banks, because I'm sure they're gonna update it as time goes by. All right, let's move on to Discover. The Discover Crisis Resource page doesn't say much about how the bank is actively helping customers. It simply states that you can access your account at any time through the website or app, that you can contact them for help, and that there is support in place for those experiencing financial difficulties as a result of the crisis. Inquiries seem to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis rather than following a specific policy. Goldman Sachs. So the closest thing Goldman Sachs has to a dedicated crisis page is a thread of updates related to the crisis. These are mostly directed at employees and there doesn't seem to be much information about the bank's response. That said, if you have the Apple Card, which is issued by Goldman Sachs, by the way, you may be able to skip your March payment without being responsible for interest or late fees, but please contact them first before skipping any payments, just like with any of these banks. Navy Federal Credit Union. Along with announcing support delays, the Navy Federal Credit Union's crisis response page provides options for credit card limit increases and late fee refunds, plus loan extensions, deferred payments, relief loans, overdraft protection, and more. Unsurprisingly, customer support wait times are expected to be longer than usual for the foreseeable future. 
PNC. So if you check out PNC's crisis page, um, you can find details about how they're approaching what's going on right now. Some of the most important programs include postponed payments for up to 90 days on products like credit cards, mortgages, auto loans, and student loans. There's also an emergency hardship loan for qualified customers. Customers in hardship programs can avoid late fees on many PNC products, so be sure to check that out. Quick loans, Rocket Mortgage, same thing. Quicken Loans has a resource page for clients who have been affected by the current crisis. You can sign up for mortgage payment forbearance for as long as three months, and this will affect your credit as long as you're being impacted by the crisis. It's best to apply as soon as possible if you're not sure whether you can make upcoming payment deadlines. Next one, Synchrony Bank. Synchrony's response includes a statement from the C CEO along with information on different ways in which the bank is approaching the crisis. The website mentions measures like waiving fees and charges and increasing credit limits, but it doesn't describe specific policies. You'll need to talk to the support team directly if you want to know more about your options. TD Bank. TD Bank. TD posted a hub for customer concerns related to the crisis. The bank is waiving late payment fees for credit cards, personal loans, residential mortgages, home equity loans, and lines of credit. TD responds to relief requests on a case-by-case -case basis, but they may be more lenient for inquiries that clearly stem from the crisis. Truist. Truist has announced that they are waiving ATM surcharge fees, providing 5% cash back on credit card purchases at qualifying grocery stores and pharmacies, and offering payment relief for products such as mortgage loans, personal and business credit cards, and consumer and business loans. There's also detailed information about options for people with existing mortgages or loans. You can access a minimum of 90 days of payment forbearance in order to get through the crisis without worrying about your mortgage. U.S. Bank. Like many other banks, U.S. Bank has proudly stated that they are here to help people who are struggling financially due to the crisis. While mortgage customers can access forbearance for up to 90 days with no late fees, there's less information for other customers. They also have frame discounts on loans and credit cards as ways to help our personal banking customers instead of providing details on real relief programs. USAA. Unsurprisingly, USA is also here to help. Unfortunately, the crisis response page only mentions special programs for loan and credit card customers without any specific information. USAA is providing relief to other customers in a variety of ways. For example, they are no longer charging late fees on auto or property insurance, and you can now withdraw up to 10% of your annuities accumulated value without a surrender fee. Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo's Crisis Information Center has answers to common questions. Home mortgage customers can suspend payments for up to 90 days if they're having financial difficulties due to the crisis. On the other hand, there's no mention of specific relief programs for other banking customers. So, there you have it. Those are uh, 18 banks that are helping out their people right now due to the current crisis. Um, I am staying on top of everything related to this crisis as it relates to your money. If you want to get updates, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss a thing. See you next time on Money Done Right.